Hello friends, in the last video we have seen how to create a simple test case using Selenium API. In today's um, section we are going to cover um, how we can integrate that test case uh, in Jenkins. To begin with, what is Jenkins? Jenkins is an open source automation server uh, which can be used to automate the tasks related to building uh, testing and deploying the software. To download Jenkins, you need to go to jenkins.io. Uh, once you are at the home page, so you have a download link here. Uh, you need to click on download link and select the operating system, whatever you have currently on your system. Currently, I have Windows operating system on my machine, so I will click on Windows and it will download the the zip file uh, which contains the installer for me. I already have it downloaded here. Uh, once I open up the zip file, uh, there is a Jenkins.msi file. So I need to install this. Uh, the installation is quite straightforward. Uh, all you need to do is uh, click next, next, and then install. So it's only a three step process. Okay, click on finish to finish the installation. By default on a Windows machine, uh, Jenkins will be installed as a Windows service. So I'm not gonna use uh, Jenkins as a Windows service. Uh, so uh, we need to disable that. Uh, to do that, you need to go to services. and then uh, look for Jenkins here and then you need to stop this okay instead of uh, uh, Windows service I'm going to uh, start Jenkins using a command prompt to do that you need to go to uh, the installation uh, folder in my case it is C program files x86 and Jenkins I need to open up a command prompt from here and then the command which I'm going to ins uh, I'm going to use uh, to start Jenkins is Java minus jar. You know you can notice that there is a uh, war file here called Jenkins.war. So this is the uh, war file which I'm going to use to start Jenkins. Okay, as you can see, uh, it is starting up. Since I'm starting this on my uh, local machine, uh, I need to uh, go to localhost and by default it is going to use port 8080. So you need to um, type in localhost colon 8080. 8080 is the default port which Jenkins will be using and hit enter. Okay, so you'll be seeing this unlock Jenkins screen. So the initial password will be located in this particular file. So you need to go to this particular file, copy the password from here and paste it here. Okay, and click on continue. Once you click on continue, Okay, so you'll see this page, uh, Customize Jenkins. So you need to click on Install Suggested Plugin. It is going to install all these plugins by default. Since it is going to take uh, some time, I'm going to uh, stop video recording now and then once it is installed, I will restart it back. Once all the plugins are installed, uh, so you'll be getting this window uh, wherein it will ask you to create first admin user. Either you can create a new admin user or you can continue as the admin. Okay, so uh, here I'm going to go ahead and create another admin user called gadmin.
Okay, I'm going to click on save and continue. By default, the Jenkins, uh, you, uh, Jenkins URL will be HTTP localhost and the port number will be 8080. So I'm going to click on save and finish. Okay, and click on start using Jenkins now. Okay, our uh, Jenkins is now ready. Uh, what we have to do is you have to go back to the uh, simple Java project which you have created earlier. I refer to the earlier video on how to create this Java project. You need to go to that particular project and then um, select a line where you can put a debug pointer. So, so I will put a debug pointer here and then click on debug. Okay, so we will get a debug perspective. Once you have the debug perspective window, you need to go to uh, the main method, right click on the main method and go to properties. Once you have the properties, so you have process information, you need to go to process information and copy the command line text. So this is what we are going to use to run this particular project using a batch file. Once you copy it, open up a notepad and then paste it into notepad and save this particular file as a batch file. Okay, once this uh, batch file is created, um, since uh, Eclipse is going to use uh, Java W.exe. Uh, we are not going to use this uh, to run this particular program. We need to delete uh, some stuff from uh, this particular file. So I'm going to delete this Java W till class path. Okay. And I'm going to add instead of Java W, I'm going to add it as a Java and save it. I have created this batch file in the same folder as my project. Open up a command prompt and then go to that particular project and then I will run test.bat. Ensure that it works first with the batch file. Since our batch file um, seems to be working fine, uh, we need to go ahead and integrate it with the Jenkins. To do that, you need to click on create new jobs in Jenkins and provide a name here. In my case, uh, I have provided um, Selenium Jenkins integration. Okay, and select freestyle project and click on OK. So once you click on OK, so you will be uh, presented with this window. Uh, wherein you have few tabs to configure. Uh, the, the tabs which we are interested in is in the general and build. Okay, first you need to select general tab and click on advanced button. So here you need to select use custom workspace and provide the name of the directory where your workspace is. In my case, is this particular space okay uh, one after providing this directory uh, you need to go to build section okay under build uh, build section you have add build step so you need to click on that since we have created a batch file we need to uh, select execute windows batch command okay once you select that, so the command which we are going to use is the name of the batch file. In my case, it is, I've created it as a test.bat file. Add it and then click on save. Now my uh, project is integrated uh, for build using Jenkins. So I need to click on build now. So once I click on build, 
it's going to go and run that particular selenium test in my case it is opening a web browser now and clicking on gmail and closing the browser okay now the test is finished you need to select build one and choose console uh, select console output as you can see that it has finished the test has finished and it is a success this is a, a simple video on how to integrate your selenium test into jenkins thanks for watching guys please stand by for more videos